Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and uh, welcome back to another vlog. First of all, I would like to apologize for not being frequent, for not being consistent. That's because of my extremely hectic schedule. I generally get uh, scheduled to operate ultra long haul flights, 17 hours, 18 hours non-stop, which is like the jet lag is intense in these flights. After we land, the first two days goes in just sleeping. You know, you, you just got to recover from your jet lag. After 48 hours, we head back to India. Technically, as per the regulations, we get about five days. That's roughly about 120 hours. First two days again goes in recovering from your jet lag. Three days you're busy with your family, friends, and uh, you know you're just trying to complete all your uh, leftover household chores. Well, uh, that's not an excuse. I was just trying to tell you guys how intense the jet lag is. How long does it take for me to recover from a flight, and uh, how does it affect my uh, daily chores? Well, having said that, there was this uh, very curious passenger in one of my flight who came out with a very interesting question. His question was, what happens when a lightning strikes a commercial jet? Well, I felt uh, this is one of the most common fears among flyers and this needs to be addressed. So I thought I'll just vlog on it and break things down. In this vlog, we're just going to see what a lightning is, how does it get produced, how does it occur, why would it even hit a commercial jet? Is the aircraft designed to take such a huge impact? How do I know sitting in the cockpit that my aircraft was hit by a lightning? What are my actions? Can it be prevented? Well, let's answer all these questions. Before answering all these questions, let's uh, get into some quick stats. On an average, as per the statistics, every aircraft gets hit at least once every thousand flight hours. And in United States alone, it has been estimated that planes get hit more than 25,000 times a year. But the truth here is lightning barely and hardly damages the aircraft. And the last reported plane crash because of lightning was in 1967, which is about 55 years back. In simple language, lightning is the chain spark of electricity in the atmosphere. Whenever you have a cloud built up, in general, the top portion of the cloud becomes positively charged and the bottom portion of the cloud becomes negatively charged. Subsequently, the surface of the earth below the cloud also becomes positively charged. And whenever the voltage difference becomes extreme, this causes a flow of electricity through the atmosphere causing a lightning bolt. In simple words, whenever the voltage difference is huge, this could be within the cloud, between two clouds, between the cloud and the earth's surface, between the cloud and the aircraft. There's a huge discharge of electricity and this produces a bright light and this is what we call lightning. Having understood this, let's proceed further. Why would an aircraft get hit by a lightning? You would be surprised to know it is the aircraft at times actually which triggers this process. Let me explain it to you. Whenever the aircraft flies through a strong electric field, it disturbs the electric field, causing a major electric imbalance and actually this becomes a path for the electric discharge. And which part of the aircraft generally gets hit? It is generally the pointed surface, like the nose of the aircraft, wingtips, the cone. But why? Comment and let me know. Actually, what happens to the aircraft when it's hit by lightning? Absolutely nothing. The aluminium skin over the fuselage safely conducts the current and dumps it in the air. This is how the cabin, the aircraft systems and the passengers all get protected. Are the commercial jets built to handle lightning? Yes, 100%. In fact, the 777 is certified to handle lightning without losing functionality. But how and what about the fuel tank? Don't worry about it. Uh, we have uh, metallic bonding straps, static dischargers, shielded wiring, shielded avionics, uh, surge protectors or surge suppressors so that the fuel doesn't get ignited. But sitting in the cockpit in the flight deck, how do I know that the aircraft was hit by lightning? Uh, the most common indication is a noise, loud noise, like a mini explosion, bright flash of light, circuit breakers popping, which is quite rare though, electrical glitches, engine malfunction, but the most prominent thing is a loud noise. And what would be my actions in case of lightning strike? The first and foremost thing is to remain calm. Try to identify what the problem is. All right. Not only in this situation, in any abnormal situation, the first thing that you got to do is you've got to remain calm and try to identify what's happening, okay? And try to identify the abnormality. Run through the checklist, inform the ATC, and also make an entry in your maintenance book so that after landing, the engineer can inspect the aircraft and certify it to be fit for the next flight. Uh, since you've already made an entry about the lightning strike, after landing, the engineer takes over and he does a complete inspection of the aircraft as per his chest. Uh, as per his checklist, he basically checks the radome. Radome is the nose of the aircraft which houses your weather radar. Since it's pointed, it's very likely to get hit. 
He also checks for paint scotch marks, antennas, your uh, static discharges, and your avionics bay, and a couple of other things as per his checklist. Once the inspection is done, he certifies the aircraft to be fit and it can uh, do its next sector. Uh, can a lightning strike be prevented? Uh, well, you cannot stop lightning, but definitely you can avoid lightning. We have something called weather radar uh, inside the cockpit, which basically gives a uh, uh, full perspective of the weather ahead of the aircraft. By using that, you can circumnavigate uh, through the weather. You don't have to go through the weather. And uh, second uh, thing, what we can do is we generally get uh, weather reports from the pilots' aircrafts that are flying ahead of us, uh, which are pretty accurate. Based on that, we can once again circumnavigate through the weather. At times, we also get uh, the weather report from the ATC, which are quite helpful and which are quite accurate. Uh, now let's discuss some myths and facts. Myth number one, pilots avoid storms due to lightning. Negative. We avoid it for turbulence, wind shear and hail. Myth number two, can lightning completely knock out all the electronics on board? Very, very unlikely. In fact, uh, we have a lot of shieldings and the system is very uh, redundant. In fact, the aircrafts are also being tested with simulated lightning strikes before certification. And now let's discuss some real life examples. You can Google this information for more accurate stats. Uh, first example would be your Delta Boeing 757. I guess if this is in 2019, a lightning strike, flight continued, landed safely. A second example would be your KLM in 2014. Again, lightning strike, no casualties, flight continued, landed safely. Third would be your Icelander in 2020. Uh, they had a lightning strike during initial climb, flight continued and landed safely. In fact, in my career, I had two lightning strikes. Nothing happened. The flight was peaceful. Uh, we just continued and we landed safely. In fact, uh, we had to make a, as a standard procedure, we had to make an entry in the maintenance record for the engineer to inspect the aircraft. But apart from that, there's, there was nothing uh, serious. To comprehend the entire vlog, can a lightning bring an aircraft down? Technically, yes. Practically, no. Extremely rare though. The last known air crash because of lightning was Pan Am 214, which was about 55-60 years back. The aircrafts are rigorously built, pilots are extremely well trained to handle such situations. So next time when you guys are flying and if you hear thunder, see lightning, just relax, you're completely safe. Do let me know your thunderstorm flying experience in the comment section. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And do remember me in your prayers. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye-bye, good night, God bless.